Hello everyone, how are you going? Welcome back to Bloons How to Defend 6, where the devs have been hard at work once again, and they just keep cranking out these maps with the new one being Polyphemus. Alright, well I'm definitely not going to be holding back, and we are going to be attempting this first try on hard, and that is definitely an interesting shape with both sides up and down. It kind of looks quite short, or I guess hopefully it goes around the eye at least once. In saying that, I think I'm just going to be starting off with probably a mixture of a sorta or a buccaneer. I guess there's a lot of water actually. Oh, but actually, look at that. There's already a bit of a fountain of youth there it seems okay so they can already see camos jungle drums and then even the monkey nomics or whatever the exact wording is and so i definitely want to be putting any water inside the only question i have now is how do i want to be spacing these out because maybe if i just start all the way at the back or all the way at the front perhaps yeah all the way at the front just get it going Oh my goodness, well I was about to say, well five rounds down and only my mana shield has been touched, but look at that, all of a sudden the eye has been closed and I can remove for zero dollars, but I don't really know if I want to remove for zero dollars and if that's just going to get rid of things I don't want to get rid of. And so considering I can afford other people, if I can put a sorter down in a decent spot, I would definitely do that. Okay, I can't put it there, can't put it there, uh, I can put it there. Otherwise, I guess I can get two boomerangs. I think I might get that instead. Oh, actually though, considering the straightness of this map, perhaps a ninja would be better. Oh, but I can only get one of them. Hmm. Between either upgrading a boomerang monkey or getting a ninja monkey or a wizard monkey even at that. You know what sort of will do? I know that she can just completely cover me up until about round 12 or so, especially on a short track like this. It's definitely going to be good to get her out nice and early. And look, I certainly should have expected it, but I had no idea that that eye was going to close. And now it does make me wonder, when is it going to be reopening? I mean, it has six, and so is it every six rounds being Homer's Odyssey or things like that? I have no idea. But look, at least having Sorta on the patrol, I don't have to worry about too many things. And if I do, at least I also have the mana shield just to soak up any of the little damage that is getting through, which the odd life here and there, I'm not too worried about. At least it's not slowly just eating into the hundred that I've got. And so now the question truly does become, do I want to be saving up just a little bit more to be able to get a banana farm, or do I just need to start getting the damage in almost a form of a druid that would be nice, due to the jungle, or like I said, a ninja, or I'm in a spike factory, even I haven't used that in ages, but all of those are little things that can do decent damage. I mean, ice and tack, as well as the sniper, they are all very straightforward, but they are all going to be very effective because I can only imagine yeah, nothing is in the way. I'm still just so curious as to why it is removed for zero dollars because it has to be some kind of a curveball. I just can't imagine that they're just going to be closing the eye every time. I mean, let's just say, sure, I remove it for zero dollars this time, but then maybe it comes back next round and it's a hundred, and then after that it's a thousand, and then ten thousand. There would be no way that you'd be able to just use that pond for all its fountain of youth powers. So even though, like I said, I should have expected something like this from a new map, honestly, you never know what they could do. The last one they released was a Sly the Tile game, and that certainly wasn't very obvious to begin with. And to be honest, I think the thing that is getting me the most in terms of why I don't want to remove it is the fact that this is mythology. And if there's anything about greed and just wanting to skip steps in mythology, this is it. You just don't want to be touching things that are out of your control. That's in the power of the gods in my eyes. So you know what, considering I have a little bit of money, it's just going to be time for a druid. I think that is going to be a nice, easy way to... Ah, oh, it's so expensive. I forgot I was playing on hard. Damn. Okay, well, at least that's just a little bit. Is it still zero dollars? It is still zero dollars and I'm just not tempted by it. Or I mean, I am tempted by it, but I just don't want to know what kind of repercussions it brings. So hopefully by the end of this round, or at least with the bonus, I should then be able to afford a banana palm. There we go. It was with the bonus, and at least there is plenty of room to be putting it wherever I want, I guess. If I wanted to be boosting people around here, maybe just... Um slap bang in the middle because that's all I really think I know right now. Ooh, okay, well, that's new, but then why would I have wanted to do that? And why was it zero before? And why is it $500 now? Is there some kind of golden egg under there? Or what is $500 going to cost me? I don't understand. It's only 10 away. And I guess eventually I will have to know because I can't go through the entire thing just never knowing. But ah, oh, it's just so tempting. But I obviously can't even afford it. So that is just nature's call. And actually, I completely forgot that there was a buccaneer under there. No wonder I was struggling a little bit because $650 right at the start, that's no laughing manager to just be gone from existence. Either way, now that I do have two banana farms, it's going to be heart of thunder time because just around the curve of that fish whew, i can't imagine how much damage it, it can possibly do for me but at least now that i have had a few more rounds just to know what is going on i can afford to be grabbing another banana farm before this round is over because i know that it's only about five thousand dollars 
be able to get Dragon's Breath, and that is all I'm really after at the moment. So with the Banana Farm just to make me a bit more cash, and especially around 39, it will be fine. Dragon's Breath it is, with $800 left over. I guess that also then allows me to grab Monkey Sense, and then everything is now covered with plenty of money left over just to be speeding this entire thing up and just making greater production a reality. Well, what can I say? Round 39 definitely knows how to bring home the goods, finishing with $2,000, so I might as well spend it to some degree. Summon Phoenix is certainly out of range, but uh, considering I'm fairly confident about this map and this round, what do I want to be buying? Maybe... Maybe, I mean, I can chuck down the free glue gunner because of why not, and then maybe just a sniper or something. Yeah, that makes a bit of sense. Either way, enough waiting. Let's just see which side this guy's going to be coming out of. Well, that's a bit fast, but the top path it is. Let me just use the abilities to make sure that everyone else goes away, and by the time they get down to the bottom, it should be okay, especially with the sniper and the druid. Come on, everyone. Oh, okay. Well, sadly, I didn't actually do that much damage, and maybe if I had the buccaneer, it would have been fine, but it did finally eat into my real lives and break through my mana shield, but at least the mana shield will be back. It's just those nine lives are officially gone so hmm good to know less damage than I thought I was going to do and I guess I just have to make sure that I don't know I can just do things faster or I don't know how I can really manage that because that came out quickly I mean look once I can afford this spice a little nugget that would be fantastic oh I don't even know when that happened but Maim Moab it is thank you very much that will make a big difference in terms of that guy just coming flying out of Mach 6 competitors to I don't know 2k an hour like he usually does actually I haven't checked in on the eye what $2,000 what is going on under that eye I hope there's just a cluster of all the different possible abilities under there the buccaneer just a tier 5 paragon everything under there because that is about to cost me way more than zero dollars i mean i can only hope it also would have shut more than once by this time if i had opened it up but really what is going on under there and why does it now cost me two grand i mean i'd love the fountain of youth back but what truly does it give me and what is unlocked by just unlocking that entire eyeball eight thousand six hundred bucks all right well i definitely have to be doing something with it otherwise i'm just going to be run through like i almost felt like i just was in terms of there was a whole bundle of ceramics from what I was hearing and then by the time they were getting taken out there they didn't seem very threatened but uh, uh what can take out ceramics you know what ice and tack especially with the amount of money that I've got at the moment I can afford to be just putting these guys I guess both sides and just leveling them up pretty decently it's interesting that there are still balloons coming from the bottom going up to the top and I guess that is because most of the damage or at least most of the money for the damage down below is on full range of the entire map kind of towers and so I guess with the wizard being right there I need another wizard kind of guy. What is that going to be? A boomerang? A cluster bomb? A, uh, I don't know. It could be many of things. Two and a half thousand. Now, what do they think I am? Just made of money or something? I mean, yeah, I got five or four and a half, but two and a half for a buccaneer? You're crazy. I'm just going to lock that thing away and just hope that it levels up there and just unlock the beast at around a hundred and see what's even under there. Either way, five thousand dollars. Like I said, the bottom path is still failing me. Uh, cluster bomb. There we go. That will do in terms of what I'm thinking. Well, even with the camel leads, they were certainly not too bad and nothing went too far. But now it is about to be around 60 and I'm not too worried. I think I've got enough damage on the screen and especially compared to around 40. Now having the main mob and forever having the main mob, that will definitely help out. I'm just still wondering, I guess it will come from the top path. So do I need more of the top path? Do I need to even it out? That's what I'm really wondering. Maybe a wizard and a dragon or who knows? Ooh, actually, especially for this round, or actually not really for this round, but the coming rounds, overdrive for both of these guys will be nice. And let me just do this, grab all the money, and overdrive it is. There we go. As soon as this guy comes out, I will just wait for him. Come on, anytime you're ready. I guess I don't even get to see him because he's just going to get stalled the whole way along. Just use Sword's ability to break everyone down and look at that. They don't stand a chance, especially with the shrapnel shot. Thank you very much. Like I said, much, much easier than round 40. Oh, remove for, oh, what's over, oh, I can remove things over here as well, I actually give me some banana so I can actually afford that, but look at this, there's more than just the eye to remove, alrighty then, well that just opens up even more of the track, not that I particularly feel as though I need it, look at how much track you truly do get, but I guess it's good to know. Ah, yes, but round 70, the one that nobody ever cares about, just the one that, I mean, you got round 40, that's a big deal, you got round 60, that's a little bit more of a big deal, and then round 80 is always the, the kind of icing on the cake, so to say, but round 70, you're just good for making a bit of money, and that's a about it look at this like where's the threat in that nowhere at least not from what i've got set up oh but actually look at this i mean not money wise but look at how close i am xp wise it is only three thousand away and so okay i just have to be getting multiple boomerangs that, or just a boomerang to just accomplish this a little bit faster here you go put you down there was a spot there somewhere. Man, those glaives know how to do some serious work. They were just starting from top to bottom straight across the fattest part of the entire track. And so I can't... Look at that. They're just bouncing from my eyeball BFB to BFB. That is 
pretty darn insane if you ask me, but I will take it and I'm sure that's just going to be helping me. Oh, I guess it would tell me when it is, but look at that. Oh, less than a thousand away. I mean, honestly, I now I just want to save up 351,000 just to get Glaive Dominus because I know how in love I am with Glaive Lord and Mob Domination is also just a fantastic upgrade. And so Glaive Dominus, I can't even begin to imagine. Sometimes when you're on autoplay, all you can do is laugh because the entire thing is just getting absolutely ridiculous before your very eyes. But look at this, around 79 and still not really any dramas. They just get stalled and then in mere moments or in mere seconds, mere something, I would just be facing the one Zom and the poor fella won't know what hit him. Look at this, the amount of money that I just made and I guess I can just use the abilities once they can actually see it. Come on, sorta. Come on, there she goes. And Bye bye, Mr. Zom. I'm sure you won't be too long. Oh, and especially where the boomerang then can finally kick in, as well as being stalled, it just gets pushed back. There is really just no hope for the poor bugger. But thank you very much. The victory is mine, and the monkey star was a sniper monkey. Wow, that is kind of surprising. I haven't had that too many times. Oh, but actually, there it is. Look at that. Glaive Dominus. I will absolutely be unlocking that. I just need to see what this guy looks like. From an icon point of view, there we go. Glaive Dominus. What does it even say? The balloons will look upon my glaives and they will know fear. I will. I kind of know fear in terms of my bank account, but otherwise we shall see eventually. But to be honest, when I say eventually, I don't exactly believe that he's going to be on this track because, well, things are going to be very quickly going south. And especially look at that. Things are getting way further than they were prior to the round 80. And so, yeah. I mean, look, now that I do have four maxed out banana farms, I can look at just expanding my horizons, and that is going to be in the form of a spectre, or obviously eventually a flying fortress would be lovely, but even to save up that much money, well, well might be a bit of a stretch. Ah, <sighs> well, that is round 89 completed. I know it wasn't the hardest thing in the world, but I just know what is on, not even the horizon anymore, just at my front door. Round 90, and the DDTs, and everything after that is just going to be very, very difficult, especially what seems to be on this supercharged map, and so I think if there was any time to open this eye and to see what kind of enlightenment I can get from it. Hopefully not some kind of wrath of the gods, that's what I'm definitely hoping not for, but for how much is it now? Four grand. At least it hasn't just gone up exponentially, but for $4,000, what do I get? Do I just get a buccaneer back? Yes, that's all I get. <laughs> one level one or unupgraded buccaneer for four grand. All right, well, I can only imagine that that eye is going to close back eventually, and that is why you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket, but my goodness, that just that just wasn't really worth it, was it? I guess in that case, what do I want to be getting? Maybe a monkey pirates or an aircraft carrier or something like that. I guess, you know what, monkey pirates, because everyone knows how good they are. Well, look, it definitely did not take too long to be saving up the money for pirate law, but now I'm just worried that I put a few too many eggs in one basket. Maybe that's what, three out of a dozen, four out of a dozen, something like that. Either way, we will see how many rounds it takes to close. Maybe it's six rounds and that's what it's talking about. Who knows? Because I think it's shut after five. So we shall see. I open it around 90 and if it's around 95 and it shuts, then I just know to never open it again. To be fair though, I am making some pretty decent cash to the point where no paragons just yet, but maybe I can afford to be getting and looking at just saving up for maybe a mob domination or even just flying fortress would be certainly nice if I can make it that far. Let's just see, does it shut after this round? It does. So five rounds is all you get for that much money. That was, that was uh, I guess like $800 a round or something like that. That is outrageous. And how much is it now? Four and a half. Yeah. So the temptation is definitely not worth it. At least I knew what I was in for and I didn't waste my money at the start of the game. Oh, but like I said, I've just realized that I've lost Monkey Pirates and so honestly, this might be the round that kills me because 96 is already a very very deadly deadly round and yep i was not wrong that was all of three or four maybe even six eggs out of a dozen all just got covered up all in the clamshell just like that man that packaging really knows how to protect itself doesn't it but my goodness i could not save up enough money just to be i guess getting what i needed to get that is a very short track and like i said they still feel very very fast and everyone was doing what they could but oh man twenty thousand dollars short on the flying fortress and even then i don't know if that would have done it. 